so I've already brought this video clip onto my timeline. It's generally a good idea to apply effects using an adjustment layer. So from project panel let's start by creating one. You can click and drag it above the video clip where you want to apply the effect on. With the adjustment layer selected, go to the effects panel and search for the transform effect. Double click on it to apply. Now head over to the effect controls panel and then check the uniform scale option. Then, click on the position property to highlight your adjustment layer. You can now easily adjust the width and height. Let's go ahead and set the rotation to 45 degrees. You might find that you need to tweak the height to make sure the effect covers the entire clip. Here's where the magic happens. By adjusting the scale value of the transform effect, you can create a glass bar effect. You can play around with it to get the look you want. Let's add some animation. Click on the stopwatch icon next to the position, enter the motion section to set your first keyframe. Next, decrease the X position value until the glass bar is completely hidden from view. Move your playhead to the end, and then increase the X value until the bar is hidden again. For a smoother animation, expand the position property. Click on the first keyframe and drag the handle to the right. Then do the same for the last keyframe's handle, pulling it to the left. This will adjust the velocity and make the animation smoother. But we're not stopping there. You can enhance this effect by duplicating the adjustment layer. Just hold down the Alt or Option key and drag the layer up one track. You should see something interesting take shape. Finally, you can offset the position of the second adjustment layer for even more impact. This little trick will give you a more dynamic result. 